sexual topic. It's been a while, right? I think. Yeah, I think it's been a while since I've generally talked about bisexuality, which defines me to the T. So, let's talk. Why does society hate bisexuals? Well, one main reason is because they automatically look at bisexuals like cheaters. They say bisexuals are not faithful at all. We're cheaters, we're greedy, and we don't know what the hell we want. Wrong. That is totally wrong. That is not the case for bisexuals. Now, I can't speak for every bisexual because some people are just a pile of whatever they are and they just don't know how to keep it in their pants. But that's not everybody. That stigma should not be placed on everybody because it doesn't matter if you're bisexual or what doesn't matter what your sexual orientation is. If you're a cheater, you're a cheater. You know? If you're unfaithful, then you're unfaithful regardless. If you're bi, you're straight, you're trans, any of that, it doesn't matter. If you're an unfaithful person, you're going to be an unfaithful person regardless. I don't know why they put that stigma on bisexuals just because we so-called have more choices. That's not fair, you know? Anybody could be greedy. Anybody could be anything. All those stigmas y'all put on bisexuals, anybody could be that way. So that doesn't make any fucking sense. But it still happens. Straight people especially don't like us because they just, they look at us with a sneer like, What do you think you're doing? What do you want? Do you want a man or a woman? Does it matter? That's what being bisexual is. Your sexuality is fluid. One minute you might want to do, the next minute you want to check. It doesn't matter. You can switch it up if you want. Just be responsible and let the person know. Because I know a lot of people, especially I hear lesbians complaining that when they date a bisexual woman, that bisexual woman never tells the, wo the woman they're dating that they're seeing another man or that they want to see another man. And the lesbian gets pissed off because she's like, Why didn't you tell me you were taking dick on the side? Like, so again, be honest. And whatever your situation is, be honest. Don't give us a worse name we already have. Don't give bisexuals a really bad name as if we're promiscuous and we just do whatever the hell we want. Just because we're horny. Just because we want to try both. Just because whatever don't do that it's not necessary people already look at us really badly because i feel that people don't like bisexuals because we still have a foot in the straight world if you know what i mean meaning we're not fully in the gay world so we're not fully going through all the gay issues you know on the surface if me the bisexual woman is with a man it appears that i'm in a heterosexual marriage it appears that i'm heterosexual but in reality, I'm not. So I'm not going through all the issues that just lesbians go through. I'm not. I appear hetero, but I'm not. I'm not going through their issues. So I think that's why people, they don't like bisexuals because, you know, of course most people don't really admit this. But because we have still have a foot in the straight world, we can step over when we want to. We can use our hetero heteronormativity, you know, for whatever situation we need to use it for, and then we can pull out our gay side whenever we want to. So it's like a sprinkle of both, like the best of both worlds, as we all like to say. It is the best of both best of both worlds. Um, it's not on purpose. We're not bisexual on purpose. It's that's just is what it is. There are a lot of bisexual women in a marriage with a man, and they look like they're hetero and society doesn't question anything there's no issues when they go out to um, any events or anything marriage related or anything at all there's no side glances and no stares there's no sne sne snide remarks there's no nothing but i think in general society doesn't like that they don't like that we have a foot in the straight world they don't like the fact that we can jump in whenever we want to What can we do? I mean, that's just, that's what it is. If we desire both genders like that, that's just what it is. We're gonna jump where we need to jump sometimes. And I don't mean jump as in, okay, jump in a bed with a girl and then jump in a bed with a man and then go back and forth. That's not what I mean. I mean, use it to, to 
whatever you need to use it for is situational. You know? But I think in general people just don't like it for some reason. I don't know. Maybe they're jealous. I don't know. I've heard a lot of people say that, um, people are just jealous. <laughs> they're just jealous. They sneer at bisexuals because they're jealous of us. They're jealous of the fact that we can see from both sides, you know what I mean? We can respect the man and we can respect the woman. As far as, you know, even sexual, we know how to appreciate the human body as a whole. We can appreciate the human body as an art form. We can do that. That's not bad though, that's not our faults. Don't be pinning us for that, I mean, that's just what it is. Bisexuals, we can, we're just open like that. We can appreciate anybody for who they are. Doesn't matter, man or woman. It does not matter. And I believe that's where society has an issue. Which, again, is freaking bullshit. But, you know. Just. If you are bisexual, like I said earlier, don't make it worse. Don't make it worse. Don't be one of those greedy bisexuals who are sleeping with everybody and you can't figure out what you want. Make sure you ground yourself and figure out what you want. Don't cheat on people. Don't cheat on anybody. Just don't cheat. Period. Be honest. Be faithful. If you're in a relationship um, and you want to step out on that relationship or you want to add somebody in, be honest. Tell them. Don't just go do it. Because there's a lot of bisexuals. They just up and do it. I read one time on Twitter, there was a guy who was bisexual and his wife didn't know. So he went out and well, he was afraid to tell his wife. And he went out, cheated on his wife with another man. No, oh, it was multiple men actually. She didn't find out till months later. He cheated on her with multiple men, and then when she found out, it was like completely devastating. She wanted to get rid of him. And I don't blame her, because that's not honesty. If you're doing that, that just shows that he doesn't really want her. That, just, that shows that he does not treasure her because he wasn't honest about the fact that I want to try being with a man. He was not honest about that. He was not honest about his feelings or his bisexuality or anything. That I can't deal with that. And that's why society looks at bisexuals badly because probably the majority of bisexuals out there do things like that. That's probably the majority. But like I said, not cool. I don't do that. Not at all. I do not do that. I'm open with whoever I'm with and it is what it is. I'm always open. I You have to tell your partners everything. You know, you can't just do that. You're, you're breaking people. You know, don't, don't break people. Don't give society um, more of a reason to sneer at us. Oh, you bisexuals don't know what you want. Y'all so damn greedy. Y'all can pick from each, each flavor in the pot and just do whatever the hell you want. And you're never satisfied. Never satisfied. Never satisfied. That's not true either. <laughs> you can't say you're never satisfied. Now, I am satisfied sexually, but I just want to experience a woman anyway. I feel like I'll be fully satisfied I did. That doesn't mean that I'm not satisfied with my man. That does not mean that I want to leave him. That just means I want to experience the other side of the spectrum. That's all that means. And yeah, it's not an easy road sometimes. Being in a marriage is not an easy road. But again, you have to be honest. You can't just sit there and do what you want. Just because you're bi, you can't use that and keep saying, oh, I have needs. It don't matter about your spouse. I got needs. But what about your spouse's needs? What about their feelings? Your needs don't always matter. If you're not honest, your needs do not matter. You have to tell them everything. You have to tell them how you're feeling. You can't hide anything. You gotta just be open. And that's all I'm here to tell you guys. Like, seriously. If you're bisexual and you're going through um, issues with your spouse or you haven't told them, first of all, tell them you need to tell your spouse. I don't care what's going on. I don't care if it's gonna hurt. I don't care if they get angry, you need to tell them because if you ever slip up, it won't be too much of a shock. You know, it's better off they know and then you slip up. Then you slip up and then they know. Mm-mm. Worst possible thing to do. So let them know. Be open. Like I said, don't hide your sexuality from your spouse. Do not do that, ever. You're just giving society another reason to have a huge distaste for bisexuals because, like I said, probably a lot of y'all are not honest, but you gotta be honest. You, you have to. That's part of life. In any relationship, you have to be honest. You have to be open. You have to tell everybody what you want. And that's just it. I mean, it's not that hard. 
Yes, it's hard initially getting it out, but you gotta get it out. I mean, hey, you can't hide forever. <laughs> Your spouse knows you. They should kind of know in the first place if they've been with you for a really, really long time. And then you started doing, you know, showing certain actions that portrays what you want. But even so, like I said, be honest. So, yeah, I think that's it. You guys have anything else to add to this video? Um, let me know in the comments. If you, do you have any suggestions? Do you have any reasons why people don't like bisexuals or anything regarding this topic? Let me know in the comments. You know, I will check them. I will respond. And we can always chat about it. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. I'm always there. You can follow me on Twitter as well. I'm not on there as often, but you know, if you write something, I will respond. I will see it, and that will be it. I will respond to you, and all that other jazz. I hope you're having a great day, second, hour, minute, century, and everything else in the book. Thank you for watching.